Go. Okay. I am Mark Hickel. I'm the Vice President of Community for Xenos. We are a open source software provider of monitoring software. And uh, um, we make tools for um, operations people. It's uh, free and open source. And what we do is we <coughs> monitor all your infrastructure from hardware to your virtual layers to your networks and give you a model of all that. But since it's Ops Camp, what I want to talk to you today is the tools that um, people who believe in DevOps and Agile operations are using to actually manage their infrastructure and sort of the theme. So I'm a tool maker. I make one tool, I think it's really good. It's like my kids, I think they're beautiful even when they're ugly. And <laughs> the, uh, um, the great, great thing about it is that um, I want to be, I want my kids to, I don't have kids, I tried to make it up to make a good story, but um, <laughs> I, I want my, my kids to Xenos you know, Core, which is our open source project, and I want it to play well with others. So I want to be able to have tools that integrate, interact with other tools so that you as um, system administrators, network administrators, engineers, are able to uh, solve your problems. So when we make a tool, we want it to be able to, the output from one tool to form the uh, input for the next tool, and that's, an open, that's a tool chain. And I believe in open source tool chains, which actually take my monitoring data, which is like having bullets and no gun. Like monitoring data, I know all about what's going on in your infrastructure. That does not fix your infrastructure, that doesn't make it better. But if I take my output from that infrastructure and say that I have a problem, and inform a tool like Opticode Chef to go out there and fix that problem based on that monitoring data, I think that's cool. And that's one of the themes that we at Xenos are really interested, especially with cloud computing and Agile IT. You want to do more, faster, stronger, and better. And I don't know about you guys, but I can only type so fast. But if I automate things in my infrastructure, those things can, can be executed, and I can have self-healing and some really cool things that people talked about for years and really very few people, people didn't do. So as we talk about ops today, and how we, we're agile, how we're, we're improving ops. I want to, the theme that I think is interesting is how can you take tools that already exist out there and inform other tools so that you can automate your infrastructure so that you as, as operations people can actually spend your time improving your infrastructure, not fixing it. So, so what do I do next? I'm very short winded. Two minutes. That's awesome. Okay. So, um, I do want to tell you, if you are interested in Xenos, here at Lisa, tomorrow we have a, if you're a Lisa attendee, we, um, David Nally has a half day tutorial on Xenos, and he's going to talk about how he uses Xenos to manage his infrastructure. On Friday, we have a full day of training, and we are a company, we have commercial training. We're giving it away for free on Friday here. It's open to any, to the public. Um, just go to xenos.org and do a search for Xenos Community Day, and there's eight hours of training. And one of the topics we're gonna to cover on Friday is um, taking that information and making it actionable by other tools like Chef and Puppet and um, a host of other open source tools so that you can actually have um, Agile or DevOps tool chains is what we like to call them. Thanks a lot. Great, thanks a lot, Mark.